Hola, my name is Ningsul and welcome to a new episode of Let's Villa en Capi Park. So, we are back. I have deleted once again the whole content I have created in the previous episode and we are going to start from scratch the designing of the second area of the park, the sun theme area. And I think guys and girls I have to give you some reasons of, on why have I discarded the whole content I have created in the previous episode. And uh, if I have to resume those reasons I would say it was not good enough. I mean it was a nice area, I love the single rail coaster and I love the concept of the central plaza with the canal for the boat ride. But there were some other points I didn't like and made me make this decision. Uh, the first one I would like to talk is the log flume. Uh, I have created the log flume but I didn't like the indoor section. That indoor section will cost many, many pieces and it will give me difficulties to theme the whole session as it was really close to the previous area. Uh, the second one was the single rail coaster. As I said, I love the layout, but I think it was really spread. It takes a lot of uh, terrain, and I don't like this kind of coaster, the single rail coaster, to have a, a really spread layout. So that's why I'm now starting the episode with creating the single rail coaster for this area. I keep this idea for this area, that single rail coaster, but this one's going to be much more compact. And another point that I didn't like from the previous design was the the existence of two temples that will also that would also mean many pieces for the piece count of the park and you know guys I don't like to use I like to use the less pieces as possible to let everybody uh, visit the park so that's the main reason I don't uh, it's so important for me the number of pieces that a design would require at the at the time of theming and that's all I will be back at the end of the video to talk about the work I have done in this single rail coaster. Thumbs up if you like this video and if you like the content I am creating in the channel, please subscribe. I would like to thank everybody who give me really nice comments, I love your feedback and I will be back, as I say, at the end of the video. See you later.
All right, I am back. Well, as you could see, the main work of the this episode was the layout of the single rail coaster. I used many predefined tracks as I did for the previous design. I really like the compactness of the coaster. This coaster will have a pyramid on the lift and first drop, or a kind of pyramid temple. You will see that in the following episodes. And I think I, I like pretty much the layout of the coaster. And I would not say that it's a final layout of the coaster. I would never say it final in this uh, uh, series, but. I really like the, the concept I have created for this coaster. I'm currently working with the terrain, with the path and so on, but those are only uh, provisional uh, layouts for the path and will not be final because this area includes a water attraction, a water ride. At the beginning this is supposed to be a log flume, but I think I will make a different log flume using the water uh, coaster, the cascade. I would like to make something similar to Chiapas in Fantasialand, a water coaster or log flume. Some, of pe some people think it's a log flume, some people think it's a water uh, coaster. I only know that it's a great ride and I would like so to make something similar with a different theme here in this area. But that will be in the next episode. So guys and girls, if you like this episode and you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode. Adios!